welcome viewers let us uh, look at the steps for drawing the orthographic projections for uh, the given pictorial view so the arrow direction indicates the front view so in the front view you note we'll have uh, uh, one uh, rectangular uh, surface so where the cursor lies so that uh, rectangular surface let us draw first because it's a principal surface so its height is uh, 4 grid space and its uh, length is 3 grid space so that in the front view is shown like this next important feature in the front view will be the inclined surface this is a huge inclined surface that we have it's a complex shape so for this inclined surface we'll have to move along the edges of the inclined surface as you see so uh, we can start with this edge so that that edge uh, only change in length is uh, two grid space uh, length we have to show in the front view starting with the point here on the corner of the uh, rectangle then along this edge we will have, we'll have to move so for that so basically in the front view for this corresponding to this edge one line along this these two grid spaces only will be visible so its height change is only two grid space because this edge means we it is uh, changing the height by two grid spaces and depth by two grid spaces and uh, change in depth is not to be shown in the front view that is why just the change in height will be visible so this way we'll move along different edges uh, one by one and we will complete so that is uh, to start with you see from here this point we start from here and the height by two then go inside then go up then go here then go here then here now uh, comes the more, more important edge the one with where we find difficulty so this edge you can see uh, basically it is uh, something I can draw in rough like this so it is part of this edge uh, if, if you assume so then here the height decreased by two grid spaces and also the depth decreased by two grid spaces but the real edge that we have to focus is this one so for that further the uh, length also changes by one grid space so that is why so for that for representing that what we do from here you go on, come down two grid space height two grid space height decreased so that will be visible and uh, two grid space depth decrease will not be visible and uh, one grid space change in length will be visible so this point comes here so this edge though in the pictorial view this end of this edge and end of uh, or, or this surface they don't appear to be at the same height but you count from the grid spaces here and you work according to the coordinates of the object and you find that its location is at the corner of the uh, rectangle itself so in the front view so that is how we move and similar way it is a symmetric figure so on the other side also you will see a similar picture so this is uh, regarding the front view now you note there is one triangle here so that triangle uh, so one edge of the triangle you note it's just vertical so it starts from this point and it drops by one vertical so if in the front view that edge of the triangle will be visible here now we can change it to cyan color because it is hidden actually so and the bottom edge that is also hidden but it is uh, overlapped by the line due to this rectangle in the front so this is the hidden line you will see here but in the 
second triangle which is actually not visible completely invisible here but it will be there because it there is a symmetry so in this uh, on the on the other side the triangle will be visible like this and uh, here both of them will be hidden lines change them to cyan color there seems to be some problem in the selection one by one we can change see and color yes now uh, another edge is like one is this edge another edge is here also so that part of the edge will also be visible in the hidden lines so this way the front view is almost complete what we will have in the side view in the side view let us uh, draw so you have the principal surface like this next uh, principal surface is here then you have the next principal surface in the side view the side view visible side view is on the left side so left side view we, we are drawing and we are following the third angle method of projections so here this is the visible portion of the lower part then you have the upper part also so it starts here one two three four the rectangle and then its height decreases by 1 its depth decreases by 2 so this way it forms and the edge here please note this edge its height here was two grid spaces at the other end also the height is from the top top the height decreases only two grid spaces so that means this line is actually a horizontal line so in the side view it will be visible as a horizontal line that edge will be visible as a horizontal line but hidden so that is also shown now no other line will be visible in the side view what about the top view in the top view again we can start with the principal surface so corresponding to the small rectangle here and uh, then there is the inclined surface two grid spaces change in uh, this was a two grid space change in depth so in the top view you know the one is the depth dimension one is the length dimension so that, uh, that we have shown next is uh, here the from this point from the uh, from this point actually the change is one two three three grid space change in height and one two three three grid space change in depth so that is how we reach the other end and here it reaches here and uh, then two grid spaces in the depth it changes and one grid space in length it changes similarly here similarly here and here and uh, then two grid space change in depth here again two grid space change in depth and uh, two grid space change in length and this way the inclined surface in the top view also is uh, completed and uh, you note one more thing here in the front view one line was missing I did not draw this line which will be visible so this line has to also to be drawn so all edges all edges so what else is there in the top view uh, you see we only drew the uh, 
this one inclined surface this edge which is there at the back end so that edge actually starts from this point and it ends at this point so if you look in terms of length so that has be also to be shown so whereas on this side there is no edge visible from the top view and uh, this is exactly what you will see and here this line represents this whole surface this uh, surface this triangular surface from the top it just is a line from the front direction it's a triangle and from the side direction also it's a triangle so that triangle is hidden in the front direction also that triangles both the triangles are hidden and uh, in the top the triangle appears as a line because it is just an inclined surface it's not a skew surface so you can see two area views this triangle this triangle and one line view inclined line view so that uh, justifies uh, with uh, its uh, requirements so with this we complete the orthographic views for the given object thank you